Hey, Kylie. Okay, I am here. This is in the fourth building. So the one that is kind of catty corner closest to the clubhouse and the pool. And that way you also see views of the golf. Um, so this is the hallway here from the door. I'm right here at the front door. So you've got tile in here and in the kitchen. And then right to your first left is going to be the downstairs bedroom. And they've put in some wood, hardwood, um, like the plank flooring. And since they live here full time, I'm assuming I'd have to go back and look at the MLS sheet, but I'm assuming none of this furniture stays. So you, I know you said you didn't like it anyway, so you'll definitely, if you like this unit, you would have to refurnish it. So you also got a door into the bathroom here, and then you've got a couple closets. Well, that's a locked closet. And then there's the other closet, just a traditional closet. Again, so it's a pretty good size room. I mean, that's a king size bed. You have two nightstands and still enough room to open the door. You have a great big long dresser and two chairs. So it's a definitely good size room. Okay, we'll come out and we'll go into the bathroom here. So they have updated it with granite countertops. I'm gonna shut that toilet. And then just your traditional walk-in shower. That's the door that leads back to the bedroom. All seems to be in really good condition. Set back out. We've got your closet here that's got your washer dryer on one side. The door is kind of really hard to open. Oh goodness. Oh, okay. It opens that way. And then you got your systems there. That looks like a pretty fairly new AC unit. I'd have to see if they have a seller's disclosure, but that's definitely an old water heater. All right, so we'll come out here to the kitchen dining room area. So you've got your granite countertops, stainless steel appliances. This is like a smaller kitchen than what you have, but you have more bedrooms, so that's nice. And then it kind of cuts on back here. That's just a really big refrigerator. But again, the wall sticks out too, but you could get a smaller refrigerator that might make it not seem so tight. So we'll step back again so you can look at it. From this angle, you got a high countertop here, bar area. They have this extra fridge here, so of course you don't have to keep that there. So it just kind of gives you the space of the dining room. Kind of step back so you can see it. And then over here, underneath the stairs, is like a little pantry door. And storage closet. So just a view of the living room real quick. You definitely would have to configure it out the most perfect way since the space is small and odd with the stairs and stuff. But we'll walk upstairs. I love all the extra space. You definitely would want to get rid of the carpet. 
You've got the wood plank flooring up here. It's different from the one in the downstairs bedroom. Again, great size room. Ceiling fan light. I love how they've added the barn door and the windows to give you some kind of privacy up here. Another view. And then right off of there is going to be the bathroom. So you got a single vanity. And then the tub shower. And then here is going to be the loft area, which they have made into a bedroom. It's not considered a bedroom because it has no windows, but everyone that has have this unit definitely turns this into a bedroom for the more heads and beds. This does have its own closet here too. It's a little bit more of a walk-in closet. Again, just another view. So it's a pretty good size room. Definitely get smaller furniture in here. It'll make it feel more open and big. All right, now we're going to go back downstairs to the patio. They also have new sliding glass door. I love your view here. So a good size patio porch. It's probably similar to yours. But you do have views of the Gulf. So you'll be able to see the sunset, the sunset colors, should I say, from this balcony. Where your other balcony, you're more of like the sunrise. And there we have it. Unit four, four oh three.